Hello, I'm David. Hi, I'm Julie. Now we're going to do an unboxing of Crossbows and Catapults by Restoration Games. And this is for ages 7 and up, 2 players, and takes about 20 to 40 minutes to play. Now, unlike other unboxing videos, because we've had this about a month, we just haven't gotten around to it, we will compare it to Catapult Feuds. So we'll compare the pieces to that. And when I was a child, for Christmas, I got this in 1983. And we actually did play it as teenagers with the owner of Tucson Games and Gadgets mm. in Tucson when we were in high school. All right, so let's take a look here. So we're going to do a complete... Um, this version, the Fortress War box, includes included these extra pieces, which we will show as well. So this was Restoration Games version of an all-in pledge. Mm. They, they don't tend to do Kickstarter exclusives, which is fine. It's not good to have people miss out on things. No, it's but not. they but they give a deal. All right, so right away, here are the pieces. Wow. This is the base set here. My Let's goodness. Sorry how loud that is. That's really loud. Little cards. So we will start opening those. Here are launchers. I'm not too sure what this is for. I have to look at the rule book. I don't know. So you have some colored towers. You have your people. More towers. Wow, a lot a, of towers. A box. So you can open that. Better off doing that than Okay, so this one does not require... So one thing they did differently in this is that it doesn't require rubber bands, which is oh. nice. So there's a spring system here. So let's put that on there. So you can see, now hopefully it holds up over time. I don't see why it wouldn't. So that is an improvement in itself. I already know that's different than the original. And these, I guess you load it and then you squeeze it like that. So you put the piece in there, mm -hmm. and then you squeeze it like that. So that was, they're trying to avoid, and you get two of each because it's a two-player game, obviously. So you're just trying to destroy your other person's wall? you got to get their people or something like that. There's different oh. objectives. As you can tell, I've never played this game. Well, I played it with the boys, the original set, when they were very young. Oh, well, I just ripped the box. Sorry. Okay, well... I was a little stronger than I thought. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Well, here's the box that uh, Julie destroyed. But you have, I guess these are extra pieces that Aren't only come in this edition. Well, you have other pieces here. Oh. Those must have been special. All right, so we got some stickers. I don't know if this how they're applied. Are they just extras that are put on the walls? Okay, it says right here, these are stickers are provided for fun. Aww. And are not part of the official game. Use them to decorate your building pieces. Okay. That's fun. So for a young person, that would be nice. Yeah. Now we'll these save it for grandchildren. are part of the game. This is what you oh. put on the discs right here. Oh, so, okay. So this is what you launch. Uh-huh. So, and we're going to show the rule book here in a moment. If we go to this camera... You load it on here like this. Okay. Can't oh. see anything. I'm on the wrong camera. So you load it on here like that. Uh huh. There's a little ridge here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then you launch like this. Oh, how okay. fun! So these will fling pretty far. Looks like it. Uh, and that's what you put the stickers on. Oh, okay. Okay. And you have these doors. Okay, so that's what those were. These are doors. Oh. And, and you mark which doors for which faction. You got, well, why is it green, blue, and, and generic? I don't know. All right, so let's take a look a little bit at some of the blocks. Oh, wait, first here we have some cardboard. Yes, this train target. is provided for fun and not part of the official game. Use it to decorate your play area for some target practice. Oh, that's fun. Okay. 
So there you go. So that's extra stuff. I can actually see our adult boys having fun with this. Well, no, it's... The reason why we didn't play it as much, these dexterity games like this, when they were younger, because there wasn't enough space. That's true. Now we have the space to do this. That is true. All right, true. so here is the rule book. Okay, you got to help me out here. I like that. Thank you. Mm-hmm. All right, so... We have ca two catapults, two crossbows. Okay, you're not I able can't to do, do it. it. I see you're struggling. I am. Takes a lot of finger strength to do these. All right, so you have six special ammo pieces, five, six red ammo pieces. That's interesting. So I guess we all use the same ammo, except one's blue and green. And then these are generic, like I thought. Five dwarf figures, goblin figures, so dwarves versus goblins. I see. And there's a general. Is this the general here? I don't know. Uh, dwarf shields, dwarf mercenaries, goblin flags. What did we do with the flags? Oh, okay. So here are the flags. Okay, you have tactics cards, so you have 28 gray castle pieces. Yeah, it is hard to open this deck. I'm having a hard time. You didn't have scissors in here, huh? Oh, I got it now. Do you do this on the floor? Yeah, you measure it out, but we have a table big enough. We have two tables big enough to do this now. Oh, okay. And with the, the Origins game table, we have the ridges. Things won't fly out as easily. Oh, okay, good. All right, so it tells you how to set it up. Place your gate, build your castle, plant your flag. What's the object? Deploy your army, plan for battle, two arms. Does it have the object here? Not yet. How to win. Okay. Usually you want to have that earlier on in the rule book. You win if you you win if you wound all your opponent's warriors and their general. A figure is wounded if its base is not flat on the table or if it ends up outside the play area. You do not need to wound your opponent's mercenaries if they are in play. As soon as your opponent's warriors and general are wounded, the game ends. So warriors and generals, how many you have? Five, so it's six figures you gotta, you gotta take out. Mm. Now what are the flags for? I don't know. You got, here's your firing. After firing, clean up the battlefield as follows. Reset any flags. I bet you flags, when you knock down flags, it gives you uh, bonuses on the cards, which we're going to look at right now. Let's look at the flags. And then we will start comparing to the other game. What about that other stuff over there? We're going to open that too. Oh, all right. So if you notice the pieces here, before we compare the flags, They are hollow, which they need to be for this type of ammo. You're going to see in Catapult, catapult Feud, it is a little different. Okay, so these are much more lighter weight. Okay, that way, and well, that way. You have it on backwards. Maybe I do, but the point is, I'm just showing it right there a little bit. We'll compare it to the other, to the original here soon. So let's look at the cards. You have a blue deck. You have some blank cards. And you have Dwarf Treasure. If your opponent lands a disc on this card, they win. Oh, that's really interesting. So you got to hide your treasure behind the wall, it looks like. That's hmm. pretty cool. I don't think that's in the original. Oh. Uh, Let's see if these cards all have the same backing. All right, so you can make up your own cards. That's kind of fun for kids. Well, adults will do it too. True. Okay, you want to put that away. All sure. right, let's show each card. That's what we like to do. And I will show all the cards, even if they're duplicates, so you can see the counter mix. Put this aside, please. Do not put it away, though. 
Because we got to compare it to the original. Right. I don't know what the turn sequence is when you play cards and how many you get. There was some question with the bonus pieces here as to when you play certain things. It's like they included bonus stuff, but they didn't include enough rules for it. Oh. There were some questions about it on the uh, Kickstarter page, so we're going to have to look at that. Okay, again, if we're going too fast, just pause it and you can read the cards in your own, at your leisure, or leisure, as they like to say. So Restoration Games, we do like uh, what they've done with their games. They do Unmatched, oh. Thunder Road, oh, I like that one. Fireball Island. I liked what they did. I didn't like the fact that it got discounted so heavily, but as it turns out, they must have discounted heavily because they lost their rights and, they, and now oh. someone else publishes it. So they probably had to get rid of their inventory, mm -hmm. but it still wasn't a good feeling yeah. to back it for that much. And then see it being discounted. Sure. Now they don't have the rights anymore. As it turns out, the version we got is actually worth more than the new version. Oh, well, there you go. So it's it's just didn't feel right good at the time when you put that much money into a Kickstarter. But we've backed everything else they've done since, except for Dark Tower, which we might eventually. We got to play it first. All right. So that's. The base set. These are extra pieces here. I don't know what, uh, there's, there's rules in here, so I guess I should open it up. I think this is like a little bonus thing if you backed it at this level. So you have the sticker and golden ammo. Once per game, fire the golden ammo disc. If you wound the opponent's general, you win. Interesting. Okay, go ahead and put that back inside there. Mm -hmm. And you got some storage bags. Let's see how good the storage bag is. It's just one bag. We're doing another unmatched here soon that we'll be backing. I forget which one it is. Oh, it's two bags. So you can put your pieces in there, I guess. Yeah. But we got double pieces, so extra pieces. I don't, think every, I don't think everything's going to fit. You might. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Let's see how good the bag is. See, this is a well-stitched bag. Mm -hmm. We've been opening up other games, and I don't know why they can't get bags that are that well-stitched. All right, so here's one of, for this pledge, you got the weapons cachet. Now this does have a... It's an archery thing. Now how sturdy is that? Will that break? Okay, so there's a little icy now. See that piece here? Mm -hmm. That's what launches it. Mm. Now, I guess you can do rubber bands if that breaks. But I wonder how how long that's going to last. So you got more discs. And they're generic ones. Okay. Oh, that's got a trebuchet. Who? It's the name of the weapon. Oh. Okay, it has the same spring. <laughs> now this is, these are gonna go far. Now what's this for? It's just too interesting. That determines how much tension there is maybe? Oh no, the angle. Maybe it affects the angle, I don't know. But as you see here, so this is well made too. But a child who's not careful can step on that and break it, that's for sure. Or a parent if it's left on the floor. Well, yeah. All right, so there's that. Now, I don't see any cards for this. I think that was the issue. When do you play these? 
Now you have the blank cards. I don't know enough about the game for... Is there an issue oh. with... When do those get used? Right. Okay, then we have this box here. Okay, wow. just more pieces. So it came with... It was like a little... Uh, prison thing there. <laughs> Maybe it's in the base set. So I don't. I think these are duplicates. Yeah, that's duplicates. And then I ordered even one more. Why did you order so many? Because when you have grandkids and adults, you want to build big things like we've done with pitch car. Okay. All right. So now let's yeah. compare that to the original. So now we're going to compare it to the original. Let me zoom out a little bit. Okay. And then we will compare it to Catapult Feud. Now, one thing I I thought about doing, you have one side be the crossbows and catapult side, mm -hmm. and the other side be the Catapult Feud. And you give Catapult Feud to the side that's less dexterous. You'll see why. Okay, so these pieces are smaller. So you can see. Oh, yeah. The plastic. This is a little bit thicker plastic. It's a little thinner. See, this doesn't bend. This does. See, I mm -hmm. can't bend this, really. It's slightly harder plastic. You didn't get as many pieces back then. But these pieces are bigger. You can see that. Now... You can see these rubber bands. <coughs> when we last played it, there you can see what happens when you use rubber bands. They, they break. dry. And here's the original. Oh, it's so small. Rule book. Yeah. It's a little comic book. That's cute. I don't remember if the rules. What's different about the rules? But you got flags as well. So you have little. So you got to. Get rubber bands, and even even here, I even kept the original original rubber bands. Oh my gosh! Here, uh, so the discs, these are thicker. Give me one of those. Things, please. Oh, I'll do it. So these are slightly. I'll go to the other camera here. So you can see here, they're thicker. Mm -hmm. These are slightly larger. But you know, they made the walls thinner, so that is what it is. Let's see the figures here. <laughs> They're more detailed, the figures. Yeah. Where's the flag bearer? Where the, oh, I think that's the general. Oh, okay. So let's get out. This is more of like, Vikings versus, here are the flags. I don't remember what the flags do again. Maybe people want to mention in the comments. That, I mean, obviously, I could read it, but. Got to compare these flags. So you got to take the tape off. That's why you, you destroyed that box. You got to take the tape off. I was first. trying to, honey. Okay, well, there you go. And then the rest, it just fell apart. I didn't know my own strength. <laughs> well, I'm having trouble taking off. I'm going to help you. The tape. No, I got it. Okay. So here you can compare the flag there as well. So thinner, thicker original, that are sculpts. More fantasy base. It looks like the boss guy. 
Here's the original. I can't really tell you the boss guy. I don't know if there's a, a boss guy in the original or not. Oh. I don't see in the bag a boss. Mm -hmm. All the figures are the same. Hmm. And if you want to see the trebuchet here, well, the catapult, sorry. See, you had to have rubber bands. Yeah. All right, now we're going to compare to Catapult Feud, which came out over a year ago. And then you're doing a Kickstarter right now. Where they're adding a T Rex and a Stegosaurus. Nice. They're adding uh, a prehistoric element to it. Hmm. So you have these mats here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, game objective. In general, you will lead your army to victory or devastating defeat. Build your castle to fortify your troops. Then use the catapult to launch boulders. Blah, blah, blah. When a troop of one army are knocked over, when all troops of one army, battle's over. The winning army must have at least one troop standing. So you're trying to knock over all troops. Ah, okay. Okay, so you can see the figures are much bigger. And this is more of a, a spoof on Money Python. <laughs> and you see you have rubber bands. You have to use. Oh. So here are the French. You know, I, I fart in your direction when they're oh. on the castle. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. There's catapult food. So I was thinking, you're going to see that these are thicker. See, here are the boulders. You're actually launching boulders. And you're going to see that the pieces are much thicker. They have cards as well. You see here, wow, this is pretty robust plastic. Mm. I mean, it's thick compared. There's weight to this. Yeah. Not that this is cheap. I'm no. not saying it's cheap. Mm. Oh, wow, you can adjust the spring here. I didn't even notice that. Look at that. How much tension you want to do. It's nice that you don't need batteries. Yeah. Not batteries, but uh, rubber bands. Rubber bands. But uh, this definitely has weight. Whereas you're launching discs versus this. I think I'd rather launch the balls. Uh, and that's why I'm thinking if we combine the sets, you're, you're one set and I'm the other. Mm -hmm. See the bricks? They're stout because you're launching balls at them. Yeah. I mean, it's... Look at that. Oh, yeah. By comparison, I mean, it's different. So you see here, mm -hmm. your a ball is going to be hitting these. That's why it's thicker. Right. Whereas a disc is hitting these. That's why it's thinner. Mm -hmm. That makes okay. sense. So I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, it's just a different system. Uh, what else is in here? Is that it? This is the base set of this. Yeah, and these are, these are they're molded plastic with halves put together. There's a seam here. Mm. At least I think. There was a seam here. I don't know about it here. Okay. Well, now you know the difference. Oh, and again, you have cards here too. Not as many. And they're uh, multi-language, so you're going to have to refer to a... The cards are better quality. They are laminate finish. Whereas the cards for this, are they? No. They do have a gloss, that's it. Mm -hmm. So the card stock here for Catapult Feud, I mean, there's more, mm -hmm. but they're not as high-end as these. So here, for this game, you're going to have to 
refer to the car rooms. But look, there's only a one-page rule book. But that's not necessarily a good thing. There might oh. be there might be more rules. It's I mean, way under here. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. There's more rules in Catapult Feud. No, there's less in Catapult Feud. I'm sorry. There's more rules in Crossbows and Catapults. Right. All right, so a lot of big mess here. Oh, my goodness. So that gives you an idea. Comparing it to the original, comparing it to Catapult Feud for us, we're going to play each one as you're intended, and then we're going to try a combination where you have one set versus the other. And I think what will happen is whoever's the less dexterous Which will, is me. will get Catapult Feud because when you're launching these balls versus discs, there's going to be a difference. Yeah, I, I yeah, no. Yeah, I'm thinking you're going to have to switch to castles. In other words, you get my castle pieces for cat, for cat, uh, crossbows and catapults because my discs have to get through your walls. Mm -hmm. These discs won't do jack to this. That's they, okay. They have, to, they have to hit these walls, the original walls, right? Whereas me, I get your walls, but you use the, your balls. Okay. So that's the same thing. We'll do a giant setup at some point. Someday. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks so much, you guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Right, Bye. -bye. Bye.